Hey hello everyone and welcome to a Project Cars discussion video and it's been a while since I've done one of these and I'm going to talk about in this video why that might be. So this race isn't going to be that great. The footage that you're going to watch it's pretty shocking to be honest. Uh, this was one of my first races back from after a, a quite a long absence on the game and yes it's a it's a class it's a car that I've never ever used before you know I just joined a random race but even so I am it kind of made me realize that I am so bad at this game at the moment I mean that's a that's a perfect example you know I've said it before in previous discussion videos that Project Cars is one of those games where you've got to keep at it you know you've got to put some practice in to get good and I'm just not there I just I just haven't been playing the game and the reason for that really is because I guess because of GTA you know I mean I still think Project Cars is a fantastic game it's just that I haven't really found the time or had the sort of desire to play it over other things now I guess this is going to be sort of more of a a discussion on my whole philosophy when it comes to playing games I suppose you know it's, it is going to be a bit of a, a rambling video but it, it, it's worth doing because you know I feel people have asked me where Project Cars has been on my channel so throughout the course of me sort of buying games all, th all throughout the years I've generally been a one game kind of person I've never been this kind of person who has a lot of games and switches between them all the time I've always generally had one game stuck to that and you know completed it really got into it in depth I think that's why sort of some of my GTA videos are so in depth about them because I know the game back to front now when it comes to YouTube that's not really the best way to go you know also there's there's some great games that come out a lot of the time and people want you to play different games and I think it's more standard these days for people to have multiple different games and switch between them that's not the way that I sort of grew up playing video games for me it was you had a game you played it a lot and then you moved on to another game when you were done especially because you know if you don't have the money to buy lots of different games it, I would imagine people are possibly in the same situation now where they just go from one game to another rather than you know all a lot all at the same time but I found that as I've started doing YouTube and, and played more various different kinds of games and added more variety not only to the YouTube videos that I do but also to the games that I'm playing I'm always finding that is going against what I'm used to and what I feel is I'm comfortable with when I like to play games for me if you know I would be a hell of a lot better on Project Cars if Project Cars was the only thing that I played but the problem is that there's so many things going on with GTA people like it when I stream GTA I enjoy streaming it and playing it as well I like hosting events on GTA and that means sometimes that when I come to playing other games or, or you know even if I really do want to play other games and get involved with them I don't give them as much time as what I might have you know might might want to um, just because I'm constantly thinking about GTA I'm constantly thinking about any other games and, and then trying to juggle that with do I want to put this game on YouTube and then if I do make that sort of commitment to make a series on YouTube for it then I have to play it even more and and it's it's very difficult to manage for someone like myself who just likes to play one game and devote myself to one single game now I guess I probably I, I would imagine that if it wasn't for all of you guys watching my videos or for you know my crew in general making all these great events and doing all of these great things for GTA I don't think I would be playing GTA either you know I would probably to be honest if, if it wasn't for GTA if it wasn't for YouTube I'd probably be playing Project Cars a lot I'd probably be going through the career mode but for me now it has to take a very good career mode with a good storyline you know kind of Mass Effect standard to really reel me in to play single player type stuff because I find the multiplayer experience just so much better regardless of the game that it is unless it's specifically devoted to single player so that's why I haven't really touched Project Cars that much in terms of single player either um, because it just doesn't really appeal to me I'd much rather just jump into some online races even though I'm getting my ass handed to me because I'm absolutely hopeless um, I'd just rather race against other people and do that kind of thing 
So coming back to Project Cars, it's kind of exactly the same thing as what happened with uh, Gran Turismo 6. When you know I, I got Gran Turismo 6 and I played it for a little bit and then I just kind of lost interest. It wasn't necessarily the game itself, it was just that I, I spent so much time making videos for GTA, spent so much time playing GTA as well, that I just didn't really have the time or the desire to play Gran Turismo and I, f I feel like the same sort of thing is kind of happening with Project Cars it's probably happening with Rocket League as well although Rocket League is more sort of a, a just a fun game to play on a stream every now and again but I'm always going to find it difficult to balance lots of different games and especially with Gears of War coming out as well very shortly I'm going to want to focus on that quite a bit as well and it's it just it makes it so much more difficult to focus on on any one game for an extended period of time especially when a lot of my time is taken up with making videos for those games as well and this is you know especially true for something like project cars where you've got to be doing it a lot you've got to be practicing it to be good at it and for me i don't want to make videos on project cars that are terrible i pretty much don't want to make videos like what you're seeing now you know going off all the time hitting into people pretty much showing terrible gameplay what not to do i i, I don't want to do that i always like my youtube videos my youtube ch channel to be somewhere where you can see someone play a game very well now obviously rocket league was a, a prime example of that not being the case there are some exceptions where you know you might see me go from being crap to in a game to you know gradually improving and stuff like that but in general i do prefer to keep my youtube channel a bit more of a professional place where i'm giving tips on things and trying to help people improve and just generally show some entertaining good gameplay because i don't really enjoy watching people on youtube who aren't very good at games it, it kind of frustrates me sometimes so I can never expect you guys to enjoy that either so that goes into it as well you know that's all part of it in the same way that I don't want to be playing project cars if I'm just going to be running around and finishing in the bottom half of a race going off all the time all that kind of stuff and then to put the practice in to actually be decent at the game I've got to then make sacrifices elsewhere maybe play GTA less maybe make less videos on GTA but then you know other games will come out like Gears of War for example and it's just it's hard for me to balance that out so I figured I would just you know make this video to let you guys know why it's been quite a while since you've seen a Project Cars video I expect that this isn't exactly going to be the end of Project Cars I do think it's an absolutely fantastic game some of the updates that they've brought recently have been excellent as well and I am going to make, be making a discussion video about that as well because it does uh, it, it has really improved the game from when we first got it but I do think that as a regular game that I'm going to be playing day in day out I just don't have the the time or the, the, the sort of appeal there to do that frankly um, and and it would be more frustrating for me and for you guys to be watching poor gameplay so i might you know try to host an event on project cars possibly to give me something specific to sort of practice for um and maybe have some fun with it that way but when it comes to sort of regular racing like this in random lobbies i'm probably never going to be that good because i'm never going to be putting enough practice in to get used to all of the vehicles in the game and all of the different variations so yeah there is going to be another project cast discussion video coming very shortly about the updates but i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of explanation on where this series is where project cars is on my channel it definitely hasn't disappeared but i just wanted to let you guys know why you haven't been seeing it quite as much and it's basically just the way that i generally play games and, and the kind of games that i play so thank you guys for watching let me know your thoughts down below all your comments i'd like to know what you guys do when you play games do you play a lot of games are you used to that or are you very much a, a one game kind of person like myself i'd be really interested to hear what you guys what you guys are like in that respect and how do you manage the games that you play so let me know all your thoughts down below i'd really appreciate it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time